In this video, I'm going to show you how to add additional accounts to your MetaMask wallet. There are a couple of details that you need to pay attention to strategically when you do that. And I also want to quickly cover other options to import external wallets into this MetaMask installation. So when you install the MetaMask wallet for the very first time, you log in with your password, you see something like this. You have account one with an auto-generated Ethereum address that you can use. And at this point in time, you can log in to websites, you can send and receive tokens. Now, sometimes it feels like you need to organize your Web3 interactions a little bit further and you want to have a second account, maybe for a different purpose, maybe for a different set of tokens. There are many different reasons why you want to have multiple accounts. And there is a functionality here in the MetaMask wallet. If you click on this circle in the top right corner, in the drop down menu, you will have a create account button. And this create account button allows you to set up these type of accounts. I currently have four accounts already in this installation. And what is important to know here, this installation, this MetaMask wallet is protected by one seed phrase of 12 words, by one private key. And this security mechanism will be valid for all of these sub-accounts. These sub-accounts are tied together, meaning that if you want to import your seed phrase, onto a different machine, onto a mobile phone, you will always take with you all of these sub-accounts. Now, there is an instance where this can be different. Let's say you import an account that has not been generated inside this wallet and you import it with a private key, it will be demarked separately with a you know, parenthesis, imported word, and you will clearly see that this is an imported account. And should you decide to migrate your MetaMask wallet to a different machine, it will not be included in this set of natively generated accounts. So just make sure that you understand that there is this difference in all of the accounts that you generate directly here inside MetaMask using this create account button will forever be tied together and protected by one C trace, by one private key. That also means, unfortunately, that should your seed phrase be compromised? Should someone get to see it? And should they decide to import that seed phrase onto a different machine to steal your funds? All of your sub accounts will be also compromised. This is probably the only disadvantage. So this is an important point to note. And the third option that you have is of course to connect a hardware wallet and I will probably do another video specifically on the hardware wallet and probably also on how to import an external seed phrase. But for the time being, I just wanted to touch on these three options and pretty much just show you how to add accounts here. Let's just for this demo actually add an account, account number five, create. And now you have an additional account number five. Now you cannot delete this account. Once it's set up, it's here forever. It is now part of the stack. And if you wanna rename this account, you can just click, I think it's here. So you, you make sure that you're inside account number five and now you go to account details and you can click on the pen here and rename it to something you want. Demo five, check, close. And here we go. You can organize your Web3 activity using MetaMask by having these sub accounts. Guys, if you enjoy this type of simple Web3 tutorials, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and do like the video to help me spread the message. Thank you and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.